Should we do an unboxing? Good afternoon, YouTube. What's going on? It's Mesa Fail back at it with, well, I guess some Destiny, and also, well, it's an unboxing. So there's my current Bungie Shrine from all the capture events I've went to, and also up top, you can see the 3A Titan and 3A Huntress action figures. So collected those. I uh, did an unboxing. I'll link those videos in the description. But look what I got. I got the uh, White Chatter White Warlock, and also another Huntress. Now these are made by 3A, and these are not the Bungie Store exclusive. These I got from Bambaland Store. I'm gonna link that in the description. I ordered them a very long time ago. They finally came. We're gonna open up the Warlock first. And these aren't cheap. They might still be available. I know they're on eBay, that's for sure. But I'm definitely keeping these bad boys. The detail when we get into uh, the actual up close shots and everything are ridiculous. So when you open up the Warlock, uh, he comes with four different hand types. So you can uh, put the different weapons on him and a little ghost shell. Now in terms of weapons, he comes with no time to explain. The Murmur, remember that thing? Why did they bring that to year three? Got a little thorn right there, comes with a thorn, and also Bradamart's stand, the heavy machine gun. So look at the detail on this thing. I swear they have to hand paint these things. They are really distressed. They're a bit on the fragile side. What movie? Anyone Bueller? Fragile. They're a bit fragile, so you definitely want to take care of these things. Don't beat them up. But they are just, they, they look so weathered and beaten up and distressed and abused. Love it. They remind me when I used to buy relic guitars, where they were brand new guitars, but they purposely distressed them to make them look beat up. Like got dings and marks and stuff on it. When we get to the Huntress, you're going to see, that she, she looks like she's a little blood splatter on uh, one of her legs. Here's a close-up of the little ghost, and once again, look at the detail. These have to be hand-painted. I don't, I don't know how they would mass-manufacture these things. So also, let's take a look. Here's a thorn and also uh, the different hands that you could put on for whatever weapon you want the uh, warlock to carry. So here I put him in a little pose here with his little ghost shell and his thorn. And I don't know, would he put the ghost shell in his right hand? Yeah, my ghost always puts it in the right hand. He's got his thorn in his left hand. You can see the detail once again. Uh, just, yeah, look at the sleeves. It just looks all beaten up, dirty. I love it. Absolutely love it. So let's take a look at the weapons. Now it comes to Bradamart's stand. Once again, it looks like everything is just hand painted. So we have the no time to explain. We've got the murmur, which I'll show you in a second here. Bradamart stand, and also we got Thorn. You already saw that. There's a little murmur. Murmur doesn't have too much detail. It's just brown and gray. But the uh, no time to explain in Bradamart's definitely have some detail on it. So moving on to the hunter, I actually prefer this hunter to the one that I unboxed previously, just because of the gear the Chatter White, and also the Shattered Vault Cloak from the Vault of Glass. So, once again, detail, redonkulous. This one's a 3A Bambaland Store exclusive edition. I guess you could buy the Warlock at other stores. I don't know. I'm reading this off the internet right now, so I don't forget anything. Shadow White Shader. Oh, I forgot to mention, 27 points of articulation. Now, the Ghost is the uh, standard Ghost Shell, and she's got an Imago Loop, actually, for a hand cannon. For the Sniper, she's got a Broken Truth LR1, which you clearly could see is Dead Orbit. It's got the Dead Orbit logo in the middle, you could see kind of like a camouflage. Is that from your one? I don't know. I'm not a Dead Orbit fan. Future War Cult all the way. So here's the Icebreaker. You can see it has a little serial number on it. And it's funny because I don't know. In the other Hunter that I have also has the same Icebreaker with also that little serial number. I got to check if the serial numbers are different. But there's the Icebreaker. You can see all the detail. There's this rocket launcher called the Dowager SA3 Heavy Rocket Launcher. I don't know. Never heard of it before. Never used it. So let me show you the back of the Huntress. Uh, she's got the Shattered Vault Cloak, which just, it looks so beaten up and weathered. And it's got the Shadow White Shader. Love it. Absolutely love it. They purposely distress these things to look like, you know, look, I buy these things just solely for collector's purposes to put on my shrine and stuff. And uh, I just love the fact that they look all beaten up and uh, weathered and eh, absolutely stunning. These things are awesome. So here's the Wallach and Hunter getting ready to go into action. He's got his no time to explain. She's got her icebreaker. So that's it, guys. So do me a favor. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Drop a like on this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MesaShawn. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube. And that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Vladimir.